Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing a pick a card reading. This one is going to be all about what is the hot tea on you. So it should be a really fun and insightful reading. So welcome if this is your first time to my channel. Hi, hello, how are you? It's really good to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what is up? How are you? It's always good to connect with your energy and I appreciate you guys being here. Now I've been working on getting my memberships going so look out for that we should have that going live just any day as you see before you these are your three psychic linking objects they are cold brews and I thought they were really fun and uh, I will be pulling cards as I go today as well um, and if you're drawn to more than one group, there's probably going to be more than one message here for you. Now, I will insert a little video for those of you who need a bit more time to see which group you're drawn to. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great nice. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh. And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you Hey group one, all of you that selected the Electric Unicorn Cold Brew Latte, it is fruity flavor, like fruity cereal flavor. So um, these are from Bones Coffee Company, and I found them at the Walls Marts. <laughs> so uh, Walmart. So uh, yeah, so that feels like a fun energy, and it feels like a very um, like. I want to say poppy like energy, but very fun, very fun. And also led me straight to these cards. <laughs> so, so we're going right into what's the brew? What, what What's brewing? Sorry. <laughs> you know, your auntie <laughs> is highly medicated. All right. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Okay. I have autoimmune disease. So, okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it straight away. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, keep in mind, it's a general reading. So just take what resonates. All right. So I feel like there's a lot of, I think you catch people's eye. I think people are drawn to looking at you or they see you. And, um, I feel like you sparkle. I feel like you're very colorful. You may have a colorful personality. I have a sparkling personality. <laughs> um, I feel like you can be very positive, but I also feel like you guys have a, a dark side. Ooh. <laughs> It reminds me of that um, that show, Tales from the Dark Side. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw that. Um, it's from like the 80s. So look it up if you've never heard of it, okay? Um, let's get some cards here. Okay, I feel the spirits gather. What What is the hot tea on my sparkly group one? What is the hot tea on my sparkly group one? We have getting a room, hotel, motel, suite, business, pleasure. Oh, well, okay, give us more. So we want this one, venting, talking about your issues. Huh, excuse me, pardon me, that, that feels rude. That feels unnecessary. <laughs> destroyed, shattered, broken, fucked up. Oh, I feel that goes over here. I'm picking up on like different things here. Okay. This one wants to come out. It says, yes, ma'am. We have hater. Oh, shit. 
Oh, shit. I feel like this is over here. Let's get a couple more. Tell me more about this shit. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, we have a flip. We have two flippers. Three flippers. Okay, getting this. Oh. Ugh. We have staying centered, aligning yourself with the universe. Beautiful. That's that's your energy. Okay, we have envy. Okay, that goes over here. Okay, so, you know, you have a lot of people talking mad shit about you. You have someone over here who is very hurt. Okay, so some of you guys have like someone who is an ex or you have someone who wanted to hook up or wanted to date or um, just feels rejected by you in general. Okay. This person, this may be several people. It feels like it could be a group because I feel like they're, they're talking about you for sure. They're talking about you. They're spreading rumors about you as well. They could be spreading this rumor um, about you um, that you're hooking up just randomly with people. Um, also that you're doing a lot of partying. Um, you're out of pocket a lot is what I'm hearing. I don't use that term, so that's an interesting thing. But I think through all of this, you're really centered. Um, and honestly, I feel like you may be an air sign or Aquarius or some shit or have Aquarius somewhere in your natal chart. That's really powerful, powerful or your, your, sorry, my tongue is so heavy. Your Uranus is very aspected in a powerful way or you have a powerful Scorpio. Um, but I just think, or you may be a Libra or a Gemini, the spirits are like, tell him, tell him. You just are so disconnected from this shit honestly like you are just and i don't i'm going to use this term and i don't mean it like you're a snob okay but it's just like you're so above this and i think it pisses them off just in general i think it pisses your haters off that you don't really get upset you don't really like you don't act out because you're like, I'm doing me. Can't you see me doing me? Yes, they fucking see you doing you. <laughs> and they're like, I can't be that bitch. I can't be like them. I want to be like them. I want to be like them. Why can't I be like them? <laughs> okay, tell me more about this fucking hater. Haters, envious bitches. Who are, I feel like if you have a past, they're definitely talking about your past if they know about your past. Um, I feel like if you were a partier, if you still are, they're definitely talking about you. And I'm not, you know, no judgment here on this channel. We don't judge people for what they do. People do things for reasons, okay, that frankly are none of our business. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to take a couple from over here because the deck is just so big, you know. Okay, give me a couple of cards here. Tell me about this toxic energy with the hater. Hardcore hater here. We have the Wolf of Wall Street. They use money and power to get what they want. Holds things over people's, over others, and manipulates people into loving them. Woo! I feel like that boom. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's the destroyed, fucked up person. <clears throat> uh, if this is an ex, uh, if this is someone you you used to know, if this is someone that you dated or tried to tried to date you, you you uh, you missed a big one. Like you, that was a good choice. You you getting away from that person because they were they were very manipulative and I feel like for some of you that was hard um I sense like for some of you you're kind of like still dealing with this um you know follow your gut this person's very manipulative okay so um in fact let's pull a little tarot on that shit okay we're gonna use this one 
All right. Okay. All right. Tell me about this manipulative motherfucker. Tell me about him. Tell me about this manipulative person. I don't like him. It feels like a masculine energy. So it's not their gender. It's their energy. Okay. So um, very manipulative. And uh, I, I don't sense that you are happy with this person or I, I feel like you're probably not even attracted really to this person. Um, maybe you were at one time, but it's like the more you got to know this person, the more you were like, uh, no, we're going to take the top. We have the king of swords. Manipulative. Uh, is a smooth talker, very manipulative, um, but also is very harsh with their words, very cutting words. Uh, this could be someone who's very verbally abusive, um, gaslighting. Um, woo, like when they speak, it cuts deep, okay? Um, this is somebody who's more... Um, mentally abusive they use uh words more than emotions to manipulate if that makes sense um it's more like psychological manipulation than emotional manipulation if if you know what i'm saying okay um it is someone who's um cunning and cruel okay that's what i'm getting here um and it really is someone who is air sign, um, who is d detached from emotion. We have the two of coins here. Uh, and it feels like this person really um, is unbalanced. You know, I'm reading these cards kind of in the negative. Um, they're... Their stability is not what it appears, okay? They're very, I get this energy that, that they, okay, well, it's just these cards here. We have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands here. Um, I feel like they are explosive. We have this card, and I'm reading it because there's an explosion here. So I'm reading these intuitively at this point. Um, we have uh, a lot of denial of emotion here. I feel like this person just is very detached from their emotions. I feel like this person has an explosive personality. Um, I feel like the, their plans for you, their plans for this situation was, wasn't good. Like, like what happened here, if this was a relationship was, was not good. There was a lot of hostility, uh, there was a lot of passive aggressiveness or straight out like verbal aggressiveness. Um, also could have been, you know, more than that. So just uh, take what resonates here. So that's who this person was, okay, or is. Um, and I feel like, I feel like the T, what is the T here with this person? What? They're mad. They're still mad. They're still mad. They haven't let go. They're, they're, they appear to be moving on. Like the Eight of Cups is about moving on. But I feel like they're not really moving on here. Because they're, they're stewing about like some kind of, some kind of plans here. Huh. Tell me about these plans from this very toxic person. They're, they, it's like they're stewing about plans. Like they want to maybe come back in or we have justice. It came out in reverse. I feel like this person wants to have their say. They want to have some kind of closure. They want to have their say. I feel like they're talking um, to someone here. It could be a, an older feminine energy, maybe their mother. Um, 
if if there are children involved in this, I feel like they may be talking to their mother um, because they feel like justice wasn't done here. Uh, for some of you, if this is an ex and it involves children, there's some kind of uh, court case or something um, that they think was unfair um, as well. Wow. Um, I, I just, this person is, um, if you did not go out with this person, it was a good move. Okay. It was a good move because I really feel like this person has justice kind of lingering over them, like karmic justice being served to them on a constant and consistent basis. Okay. With these two cards. And it's like bad luck. It's like things not flowing in their life um, until they get their shit together. So if you didn't date this person, you dodged a bullet, okay? If you got away from this person, you dodged a bullet, okay? If you're with this person and you're trying to figure out how to get away, your your thinking is straight on okay um if you're separated from this person they're definitely still still lingering here in this connection um they haven't removed their energy some of you guys might do a cord cutting here a calling back your energy pray chant dance whatever you do um to kind of like sever any lasting energies here if you have any objects that they gave you um they can be symbolic. Like, you know, if you live with this person, of course, you're going to have objects. But like, if you have something like a ring or something meaningful, you know, put it in a box, put it, put it in a box with salt, you know, duct tape it together, whatever, seal it however you want to put it in the back of your, of your closet and forget about it or, or bury it or whatever. Okay. Whatever you can do. Okay. Um, it will help like rid you of some of this energy here. It will help it will help this tie kind of thin out, as they say. Um, so let's get into this hater over here, this hater energy. I'm going to pull from this side of the, of the toxic X-Files. It's almost like they don't care if people find out they're lying. They just hate you so much. Okay. I feel like this wanted to flip. We have holds on to fears, has difficulty releasing the fears, which may be holding them back in moving forward. Comfortable in what they know versus the unknown. Okay. A lot of times hate hides a lot of different emotions here. Venting, talks about your issues. Huh. Tell me more about this hater. We have... Heartless lover treats their partners as trash, but expects them to bend at their command. Hmm. This person's very selfish. There's a selfish energy about them. And I feel like, because I'm pulling on this, this sparkly energy, I think you're a very compassionate person. And I feel like you stayed connected to this person or maybe even you're still connected in some way to this person because you're compassionate uh, because you're very giving because you there's some kind of relationship here where you're like well you know i've known him for years or well you know they can be such a good person or well you know, uh, I just can't, I just can't see me doing that. They're my cousin or, you know, I work with them or so it's like some of you guys make excuses for them because you're a compassionate person and you've given them passes on some really awful things. Um, but for others of you, like you, you don't really talk to this person. So, um, I'm gonna pull these two. <clears throat> We have sorry, excessively apologetic, apologizes after they have done something wrong, but does not learn from their mistakes. Fake, it's fake. When they apologize, it's fake. And I, I feel like that's in general. I feel like this person isn't a, very sincere. I feel like they're very um, selfish. Like this, like I said, this is a very selfish person. About me, there we go. About me, the non-giver holds back emotions and affections in order to have the upper hand or they simply do not have empathy. Yeah, um, I feel like this person is emotionally immature. 
Um, they, it's me, me, me. It's like they're emotionally stunted. And they happened upon you, which is someone who's very compassionate and sparkly and kind and warm and giving. Um, and because of that, uh, I feel like you may have gotten taken advantage of by this person. <clears throat> and uh, you may, you know, have pulled away to a degree because you got taken advantage of and you were like, okay, I have to, you know. Um, at some point, you know, you have to say, okay, this is enough. This is enough. Um, but for others, you're kind of lingering there. So it just, it, it, you know, use your own discernment. Okay, let's find out more. All right, we have the Queen of Coins. They may be an earth sign or you, that's Taurus, Virgo Capricorn. Um, there's, you know, the Queen of Coins is the independent queen, can be a single parent. Um, also, there's a witchy vibe here. I'm also getting something about fall. So, uh, Libra Scorpio energy here as well. Maybe Virgo. They may run their own business. That may be you. We have a few other cards that slipped out, so we're going to take them. They came out in reverse, but we're going to flip them, and I'll read them how I read them. The King of Cups. Judgment. The Sun. Okay, that's that's a positive card. We have the Ace of Wands here. Um, Leo energy. Yeah, I I feel like the King of Cups. I I feel like I feel like this person is greedy. They're greedy. They got greedy with you. I think. And some of you were like, with the judgment card, you were like, no, I can't give any more to you. So it may have involved money or resources or time, or you were just like, no. And it's this King of Cups energy, and it it's not gender. It's just you were very giving. Um, you gave, and, you know, they were over here kind of like storing up their own pot. So I feel like, you know, you gave and gave and gave, all right, and... The King of Cups is not like a doormat, okay? Um, maybe Cancer energy here, but you weren't like a doormat and like, oh, give, 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 give. Um, at some point, there was this awareness that, hey, hey, bitch, uh, no, uh, I've given enough to you. Like, you're taking advantage of me. And perhaps they were supposed to pay you back, Um they were supposed to give back to you in some kind of way, and they didn't. And um, so it, there was distance created, okay? Um, and then we have the sun, okay? They abs I'm going to tell you, they absolutely hate that you are doing better without them. P point blank, period. They hate it. They hate that you are doing better without them. And because of that, they talk this mad shit on you. And the more you do, the more you get, the more abundance, the happier you get, the more they hate on you. The more crazy shit they talk. I mean, look, look at this energy. You're just happy, doing your thing, frolicking, being your authentic self. I mean, look at this unicorn. It's got a skeleton on it. So you have a darker aspect. This darker aspect kicked in and said, oh, hey, listen, you need to know that this bitch over here is taking advantage of you. And that's what happened. Okay. Even if you're still in contact with this person, there's a part of you that, oh, well, behind that, oh, well, is something saying, hey, listen, they're taking advantage of you. Um, so I don't feel like you're not aware of it. I just don't think you're aware of, like, the mad shit they're talking. Like, they're talking about, you know, you partying too much. You, uh, for some of you, it's like you getting a room. If this is at work, they may be talking, like, trying to start rumors about you, hitting it with superiors, partying, um, <laughs> and any secrets that they know about you, they're definitely spilling the beans um 
they're very envious of where you are. They're very envious of you. Even if, you know, I tell people all the time, you may think that you are like, in a bad place. But the thing is people write mythologies of other people in their brains, like in their minds. They have a different idea of you. And that's what I'm talking about here. They have a whole different idea of you. And they they see you as doing really well and and radiating, drawing attention to yourself. For some of you <clears throat> Sorry, I keep having to clear my throat chakra. Um, for some of you, like the attention, there's attention being drawn to you. And they're so envious. And you don't do it on purpose. You can't help but look at the skeleton with the rainbow on the unicorn. I mean, if that walks in a room, you're like, oh my God, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. I... I personally would be like, hey, Mr. Skeleton, you are super cool. Where'd you get the unicorn? Where'd you get the rainbow? I would really like to know. I'd like to know you. But, you know, I'm different. I, I'm not scared of skeletons. So, <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you want to go pet the unicorn? I'd be like, hey, Mr. Unicorn. You know, so there, there's that energy going on here. Like, and Here's the thing. I don't think you do it to get attention. I think you're just being authentically your skeleton on a unicorn with a, a rainbow self. And they hate that they can't be around that energy as close as they used to be. They don't get that anymore. And they hate it. And they're talking mad shit. And I feel like, hmm, hmm. I feel like um, the venting, if you heard the venting, for those of you who are lingering in this energy, I think if you heard the venting, you would change your mind, okay? Because uh, they talk about you and, well, I can't say, I can't really go into it because it gets pretty adult, but it really is about you being um, available, easy. Um, like desperate for uh, attention of that kind. Uh, and really fucking putting yourself just available for anyone, anything kind of, kind of stuff. Uh, for some of you guys, like if you have an OF, they, they're telling people that you have an OF. Um, if you have any kind of online presence that you didn't want people to know about, they're definitely telling them about that if they know. Um, if you have an online presence, they are stalking it even if you block them, okay? So I just want you to know that. We have knowing they fucked up. Yep, knowing they can't get in your energy. They can't come back. Um, those of you who have got distance from them. For those of you who are just realizing this, I feel like, um, listen, there's a need here for you to realize that this person is not sometimes we have to let go of people we have to let go of toxic energy in our lives not everyone is for you and libra if this is you i know it's hard leo i know it's hard i know it's hard to let go of people but some people are just bad for you they're just not good for you okay and you have a hater around you Two-faced, two-faced energy, okay? Yeah, this person talking mad shit. They know, they know, they know they fucked up. And they're spilling your secrets, okay? And they honestly don't care if it gets back to you. So we have betrayal, uh, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. We have private relationships. Okay, so they're talking about your relationships. They're talking about whatever they know about your relationships. They're talking mad shit about it. Okay, they're giving all the details that they know. Um, and I feel like, I feel like they don't care if it gets back to you. They're making up stuff too. They're totally making up crazy stories. Um, and for some of you, this is at work. 
This is like a work friend you've had for a long time. Uh, and they're just mad. And they have no fear of getting fired. Because uh, for some of them, they've been there for so long or they're really good friends with like the supervisor or the boss and they don't think that they would ever be fired. Which the truth is everyone is fireable. <laughs> Everyone is. So they kind of think highly of themselves in that degree. Uh, but I feel like you guys just need to be aware of this person. Just be more aware of this person if you have to deal with them. If you haven't let go of them, pay attention. Okay, just pay more attention so that you can validate some of the things I'm saying so you can let them go. Okay, do a cord cutting, calling back your power, or just get some space, get some. Get some space between you and this person. All right. Okay, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. Please look out for my memberships. They will be available soon. And I will see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey group two, all of you that selected smoky time, cold brew, s'mores, this is going to be your reading all about what is the hot tea on you, although it's a cold brew, so whatever. <laughs> I thought these were really cute for a tea reading, so I went with them. All right, so always keep in mind these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Use your own discernment. Okay. So let's get some energy here. We're going to start off with the Mystery House uh, Oracle deck. Tell me about what is the hot tea or cold brew on my s'mori time. They're just kind of kick back here. Skeleton person is kicked back with uh, Bigfoot here. The fire. They have s'mores going on. And you know what I'm feeling like? They don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're just in their own little world. Not really giving a fuck, okay? Not really giving a fuck. Not really caring. <laughs> and you know what I did? I just I just flip-flopped the deck. It's all screwed up now. Like some of them are facing one way, some another. So, and you know what? We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't care. It's fine. They'll come out. <laughs> okay, there we go. They just plopped out. Because we don't care. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Okay, we have ghost phone, phone call, text, email. All right. We have candy corn, third party interference. Okay. Do you know that Prince song, House Quake? And he, he, he said something like, Does, do, you know how, do you know about the house quake? And someone says something, and he goes, bullshit, really? Anyway, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that song, House Quake, from, by Prince. So, your auntie, me, I am highly medicated, all right? So, <laughs> just go with it, y'all. Okay, horror clown, show off wanting attention. Oh, shit. Do they think you're a show off? You don't give a fuck. You're over there roasting marshmallows with Bigfoot. You don't care. You don't care. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Bobbing games player in and out. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get a little more. Let's get a little more tea, shall we? Tell me more about this. <laughs> First of all, someone's talking about you, but you already know that, don't you? <laughs> This third party over here flapping their gums about s'mory time. Uh, party time. Do you like to party? I like to party. I like to party. <laughs> I feel like you like to have fun. Okay? And there ain't nothing wrong with having a good time. Listen, more people in life should have a good time. Now, if you aren't partying... This person, these people, because some of you guys got a gaggle of gooses talking about you. Uh, these people perceive you as a good time, gal, pal, friend, whatever. Okay. Not gender, just energy, y'all. Just energy. So I got quite a few that plopped out here. And you know what? We're going to take them. 
That's right. We're going to take all these that plopped out. So Casper, friendly spirit helping. Okay. We have spider web, caught lies deceit. Oh my. We have ghost hunters, searching, looking evidence. Hmm. On to their bullshit. Creeper, uninvited guest, uncomfortable. Oh, they're telling people that you make them uncomfortable. Oh, oh, perhaps that's this games player in and out. Maybe you got, maybe you got that gaggle of gooses, some of you guys. Okay, we have 5D communication voices, spirit box. I hear bye. I hear bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, bitch. <laughs> I keep it moving. We have get out, escape, leaving. We have mummy, bound, tied up, trapped. Interesting energies there. So you have a gaggle of gooses bobbing for apples. <laughs> Talking about you. You show off, wanting attention. How dare you shine? How dare you stand out? How dare you? You pretty, pretty thing, you. They're so jealous. Whatever. You can't help. You can't help how fabulous you are. It's just, you're just being who you are, right? Let's get some more tea on who these people are and what the fuck is up. I think you have quite a few people talking about you. I think you're probably used to this shit. We have another plopping of the cards. Plopping, plooping. This is a lot, though. This is a lot of these cards. Really, we're going to take them? Okay. Plays with people's emotions, F person. Hmm. Judge Judy is in the house. Okay, we have talks trash, gossip, no shit. <laughs> no shit, really? <laughs> Funny, delightful personality. That's you. That's you, baby. That's you. That's all over you. They so jealous of your delightful personality. You may have been pulled to group one, too. The, the little unicorn unicorn energy there we have non-traditional highly favored yes yes okay and and what we have gemini hater Ooh, you have a hater of course you do because you're fabulous okay people pleaser user oh they're saying they're saying you use people hmm. we have a liar leo we have a liar we have a liar they're lying about you but what's new you know like of course they are, because you are the star of the show. You're the main attraction. And I think they tell people that you are a little bit of an attention, mm, you know, you like that attention, you know what I'm saying? Um, that you uh, try to steal the attention. Um, I do think they talk a lot of shit, and it feels like people are onto their bullshit, because I feel like some people look for evidence. Like, people are like, okay, this person said a lot of shit, but this is getting kind of, like, out of hand. Like, what really is going on here? What really is the tea? So I do think there are people who are like, I don't, I don't buy this. I don't buy everything this person's saying. So I think the person who's got who is gossiping the most about you may have other people saying, gossiping about them, gossiping about you, if you know what I'm saying. Like, look, what is her deal? Why, why, why is she so bitter? Sorry, I shook you. Uh, why is she so bitter? Meantime, you have your own friendly spirits. You have Casper, the friendly ghost over here, helping you. Um, and I feel like, Okay, for some of you, okay, for some of you, you have this friendly spirit, right? You got your spirit guide, you got your guardian spirit, you got your ancestors, you got your shit, okay? Um, and so here's what's happening. You want to know what's happening? You want to know the tea? So this person, the person who's doing the most gossiping and the most harm, is getting a visit at night when they dream, and sometimes more than that, by Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's one of your peoples, if you will. And it is scaring the fuck out of them. Um, they wake up and they're just like, what the fuck just happened? Uh, some of them have been touched. Um, and I feel like, 
I'm hearing gentle reminders to not fuck with me. Gentle reminders to get the fuck out of my energy. Yeah, I hear that. The tower. Uh-huh. Queen of Wands. Yeah. Thinking, thinking I can talk shit. Thinking they could talk shit, not me. Thinking they could talk shit about you. Thinking they could do whatever they do. Yeah. And what do they know? What do you know? All of a sudden, bam, bitch. I'm in your energy. You better shut the fuck up. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Some of you guys are just like, uh, no. You may do it. You may have done an, a stop gossiping spell. or This may be a award as well. We have the hangman. <laughs> I don't feel this like a traditional hangman. I feel this like I caught you in my ward, in my trap, in my spiritual safety net. Okay, I caught you. Return to sender, yes, but I'm going to snatch you first. I'm going to snatch you up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm going to send you back to where you came from, bitch. I feel that. I feel that. You know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. This person is, is just going all in. Because you're over here. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm having s'mores with Bigfoot. Minding my own business. Just because I'm delightful and wonderful and you can't be me. You know? You know, it's just it's sad. Two of coins and the king of sorts. I feel like I have another one. No. Oh, I do. I told you. I had another one. And then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So, this person who's talking about you is having a really fucking hard time. First of all, um, you know, we do return to cinders or whatever. So for some of you guys, guys, this is just karma. This is people finding out they're big fat liars. Okay. Um, but they're having a hard time. Um, their balance in their life is being completely, what is balance? They're like, what the fuck is balance? I've got chaos in my life. And I am not persevering. I am not overcoming. That's what I'm hearing. I am not okay. I am not okay. Um, and <laughs> you see the swords here? I don't know. Is that too close? I'm sorry. Can you see the swords here? It's just like, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> I mean, I think some of them are turning hardcore to like religion, um, religious practices. Some of them are very scared. They have something in their house. I'm just getting these messages, you know, from spirit. Um, I, I feel like like they aren't they aren't doing well with this nine of swords in reverse. Um all that hateful energy that they sent to you. Woo, it's coming back with this tower. Cause people are, are figuring out they're lying and they're they're playing with people's emotions. Okay, sorry if I'm flashing y'all. They're playing with people's emotions. They don't like that. And people are starting to get uncomfortable around them. Tell me about this nine of swords. Tell me about this nine of swords. Tell me about this bitch talking about my group too. Uh, two of wands. <laughs> Look how twisted the body is here. So twisted. They're just all in knots. And they're trying to figure out how to like get it together. They're trying to figure it out. And look at all this. Look at all of this, like, like slime coming out of their mouth. It's just like they're doing fast talking, trying to, to get it together, trying to twist it together, and it's just not working out. They cannot get it together. They cannot get people back in line. <laughs> we have the Empress. We have... All these cards. We have the King of Cups. I think the King of Cups came out in reverse. Whoops. The King of Cups came out, out in reverse here. And then we have the Three of Wands. Ooh, we have the Devil and we have the Sun. 
Yeah, I feel like people are feeling this person as like fake. Um, fake empathy. Um, like they're a very fake person. They're figuring them out. Meantime, we have you and I feel like there's some kind of glow up situation going on because you don't give a fuck. And it's almost like you not giving a fuck makes you shine even more. It makes you more attractive. The Empress, the Sun, and the Devil. Okay? So I feel like this, this is your energy balancing and it's light and it's dark. Okay? This is your energy coming into like a really beautiful manifestation of self. And people hate it. You know, they hate when other people shine. It it um, it unnerves them because it makes them feel like they can't be that or it makes them see their own, you know, shortcomings. It makes them feel like, I, I can never be that. I can never do that. Um, so hate on you. Hate on you for being good. And the thing is, is that I don't think you're a vain person. I don't think you're a shallow person. I think you're a very deep person. And I think the person who's doing all this shit is vain and shallow. I think they, I think there's just two different levels of people here. And, you know, it, it's like this person is deeply struggling and deeply troubled. And the more they look at you and see this, the more struggle they seem to have. And they they connect it with you, but the truth is their struggle has to do with them running their mouth, okay? Not just about you, though. This, this has to do with, like, at work, in their family, with their friends, okay? The tea on you is that, you know, the people who, who talk smack about you are getting their karma or their return to sender, okay? It's bubbling to the surface, and they are struggling, and they are getting the lesson. And it's hitting hard. And you, you're looking very good. You're looking very attractive. <laughs> People want to be in your energy. They want to be close to you, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, they want to be in your energy. And it's it's not just like romantic. It's people... If you haven't noticed, people may start noticing you just in general. Like out out and about. People might just say, hey, how are you? That you might just start seeing people starting to notice you more. And it might be like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> just enjoy the weirdness of it, you know? Of course, you you have a good, like this general energy of just like, you know, I'm just kind of going with the flow now. Because life is weird. It is, it is weird, isn't it? Life is very weird. So going with the flow sometimes is best. <laughs> it's best. It's just hard to get in that flow, you know. Let's shuffle this one more time. Tell me more about my group too. What's the tea on them? Tell me more about this tea, this hot ass tea. I feel like the person who is talking mad shit on you, I feel like they probably are having headaches or anxiety or high 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 blood pressure. Boy, they don't want me to talk. Um I feel like they may have like like repetitive thoughts probably about you or talking about you they may be suffering from a lot of guilt we have water element healing intuition emotional nurturing west okay all right let's get some more energy we have stand out don't be shy Ooh, there you go standing out yeah i feel like you know especially with this empress energy i just feel like you've done so much healing that your ability to care about a lot of petty stuff, you know, these readings might be fun or whatever, but I feel like for you, you're not really, you're not really down into petty business. You know, you're just kind of like, you know, I go with the flow. I have some fun. Life is short kind of thing. So I feel like you've done a lot of deep healing and probably been through a lot probably been through a whole lot. Although, to be honest, 
uh, all of us have been through a whole lot lately, like in the last five years. <laughs> so uh, we've all been through a lot, but you have been through a lot in particular. We have the only way to have a friend is to be one. Yeah, I feel like you're attracting, like I said, not just romantic people, but also like friends. Um, just general attraction towards you, people seeing you. Um, and it has to do with the healing you've done. It has to, to do with, with, there's something about your energy here, um, about being, I don't, the word aloof is coming, but I don't really feel you're aloof. I feel like you're just elsewhere. It's not that you're being a snob. It's just you're elsewhere. You're, you're elsewhere dealing with other things. And again, it's not like you're a snob or you're above people. It's just your focus is on other things. And I want to say bigger and better, but I don't mean it like better. I just mean it as different. I hope that comes across right. Because I don't think you're like that. I don't think you judge people. I think you're a really good person. We have, we try to hide our feelings, but we forget that our eyes speak. We have happiness is not one big thing. It's all the little things put together. I feel like you've learned this. You know that happiness is not just uh, one big thing. It's a lot of little things put together over time. And um, I, I feel like there's something special about your eyes. And maybe the glasses you wear um, or, or your your eye color or the way you do your eyes, your eyes always give you away. <laughs> okay, just so you know. I also think your eyes attract people. Um, when people see your eyes, they're more attracted to you. There's something, um, there's something very magnetic about your eyes, okay? Uh, you do stand out. And when you're happy, I feel like you you stand out even more. I feel like your happiness is, is really important for your success. You're about to get sweet rewards for your hard work. Speaking of success, I feel like success is really going to be coming in for you. Um, we have the sun here. We have the empress. And we have the devil. I'm reading the devil more as your, your spicy energy uh, than anything negative. Um, I feel that empowering you, your drive, your desire. Um, I feel your drive and your desires really springing forward. Um, I, I'm seeing someone like making leaps and bounds, someone moving like miles ahead, um, in very strong, actions. I feel like instead of making small leaps, you're going to start making bigger ones. And it's going to feel so good and validating. Um, and I got to tell you, they're going to keep talking. Okay. Uh, they're going to keep talking, but I feel like you're going to be so far from that, that it's not even going to really touch you. Unless you do these readings and you're like, oh, you know, that's interesting to know, you know, because sometimes it is. Sometimes it's fun. It's cathartic to have these readings. It lets off some steam, have a little fun, hear about it, whatever, you know. Uh, and I think that's probably where you are uh, because I feel like for you, you've had haters and people who've talked mad shit on you probably most of your life. You may be a Scorpio. You may ha be have, sorry. <laughs> Uh, your auntie's medicine, y'all. Um, you may have Scorpio that's highly aspected or a Pluto that's highly aspected or Pisces or Neptune that's highly aspected or Uranus that's highly aspected or um, you may be a Gemini. Um, but I feel like you've probably had people gossip about you most of your life. And it's because you have main character energy. You just have that thing. And you may not realize that, okay? But there's something about you that stands out. And it stands out in one of two ways. Either you stand out and people want to, like, support you and help you. Or you stand out and people want to talk mad shit on you. And probably for most of your life, it's been 
people want to talk mad shit on you, okay? But I feel like there is a sliding of that perception for you where people want to start helping you more and um, being more there for you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are ending some kind of karmic cycle in your life, I'm hearing. It may be astrological, uh, but it's some kind of ending of a cycle. I'm hearing a six, seven, ten year cycle. Um, and I feel like it's massive. It's a big cycle. This is a big cycle of healing that you've done. And you may feel like, you know what, Amy, I don't feel like I'm at the end of any cycle. You know, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Boom. There you go. That's it. That's the end of your cycle. You're just doing what you're doing. Sometimes it's not a massive, like, let's send up the fireworks and the clouds part and you've ended a cycle. Sometimes it's just as simple as, I'm going with the flow now. And here we go. And there you are. And you're ending a cycle and a new one begins. And the new one for you is very promising. It's very positive. Um, and you're going to continue to have people talk about you, especially this person, right? Um, I do think that there will be a time where it will be muffled. It will be more muffled. Um, because more and more people are, are not trusting this person. But the thing is, is that this person wants to run their mouth. And the more bad stuff that happens to this person, one of two things can happen, okay? There's, there's you know, uh, they may grow from it, which the universe gives them an opportunity to, or they go deeper into the dysfunctional behavior, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, well, most of you guys, there's a lot more learning to do because there's underlying things going on as to why they talk mad shit. They talk and they gossip and they hate. It's very deep. And those kind of things take years to heal. Um, and for them, it may take many, many years, okay, depending on where they are in their journey. So, all right, group two, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. I look out for my memberships coming soon. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye guys. Hey group three, all of you that selected Cinnabon, cinnamon bun flavored cold brew latte. This is going to be your reading all about the hot tea on you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, so I was wrapped up in the cord there for a minute. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I got to tell you, out of all of them, I'm more excited about this one than all of them as far as drinking it. So, <laughs> although I'm not really into cold brew, this one looks fun, doesn't it? Looks like a good time with those cinnamon buns. But if you watch my channel, you probably know I love donuts. <laughs> I say that with no shame at all. I love donuts. And um, so... If I could have only one food for the rest of my life, it would be donuts. Okay, so there you go. Anyway, so keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Well, I'm going to tell you guys something. They had me pull out my love cards. Okay, so uh, there may be other messages that come forward, but we're going to start with love cards because it's Cinnabon and it's so much fun. <laughs> So, okay, so just just go with it. Just go with it, okay? Cuz people people like you. <laughs> people like you. I'll probably pull some other cards, maybe. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. I have to filter these cards cuz there may be things that you can't see. Okay? We have to make sure it's PG-13. All right. Okay. Give me some energy for my Cinnabon group. What is the tea? What is the hot tea? What is the hot tea? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it's sizzling. Mile high plane travel adventures. Okay. We have 
the chair. You can see this, uh, the chair, okay, on top. Okay, all right, we have one that flipped. We have longing, oh, someone misses you. That's the T, you're missed. Oh, we have another one that flipped. Let me look, let me look. Just enough to keep you, okay. <laughs> I feel that as a teasing energy. Are you being teased? Is someone teasing you? Tell them to be nice. Tell them Auntie Amy said be nice and stop teasing. Unless you're being the tease, then go for it, y'all. <laughs> do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. Someone is missing you so much. So I feel like this could be your person in your life. Perhaps you guys just don't have time for each other. You know, time for each other. Winky wink. Um, you may be in, at distance from each other. You may be traveling a lot. You may just have kids. It may just be busy, okay? Um, for some of you, maybe you don't have anyone at all. And this could be someone who um, just really likes being around you and thinks about you in this amorous way. Okay, so this could be read several different ways, but we're just going to get into this energy. <laughs> tell us more. Tell us more. We want to know about Cinnabon. <laughs> and first of all, they like your hot cross buns. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> We have candy being sweet, being cute. Aw, they think you're sweet and cute. <laughs> I'm getting that old, um, oh, who is that? That candy song, Cameo. I think it's by Cameo in the 80s or the 90s. I think it's 80s. Like oh, old 80s song. Band. Sleep on the couch, kicked out. Oh, begging on knees, knees humble. Okay. So some of you guys may have someone that you're fighting with, or maybe you're not just, maybe there's a disagreement. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And maybe someone's like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, maybe someone's asserting their selves in this situation. Uh, you know, uh, being humble. <laughs> Give me a begging strip, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some more energy from this deck. And this deck is far more spicy than that other deck is. So it will definitely have to be. First of all, it's a two-hander two because it's so there's so many cards in it. So we're going to pull from one side and then the other. And then I have to make sure that these are appropriate for y'all because it's PG-13 and YouTube's has has uh, rules and shit. Work affair. I cannot concentrate knowing you're around. Ooh, I feel that. <laughs> Some of you have, that, that's that energy around you that thinks about it. I feel like someone's daydreaming about you at work. Um, they're just thinking about, hey, I see them over there in that chair. I see them over there in that chair, and I'm just wondering. I'm wondering about them Cinnabons. What's that about? <laughs> I look up just to have, I, I look, I looking up just to have a good time, just for fun. Okay, what? I looking, okay, I'll let you guys read it. There you go, that's what it says. Okay, just for fun. Okay, so someone wants to have a good time. We have on the hush, ain't no one's business. Ooh, I feel like that's that's that work energy. Like, why can't we just, you know, have some fun? No one has to know. Really? I mean, maybe that might be fun for you. If that's fun for you, do you. You know, sino buns, hot cross buns. Do you have some fun, but... I'm just saying, you know, do do what's good for you, right? But there's someone here, you know, others who, like, you're in a relationship, you're being missed, and they can't wait to, like, be able to have some fun with you, right? We have lights on, I want to see everything, wants to watch, 
wants to watch. Wants you. Wants to watch you bake some buns. <laughs> wants to watch you bake some cinnabuns. Yes, indeed. <laughs> How long does it take for you to bake them? <laughs> Be loved. Oh, I want to be loved by you. Ah, oh, there's some tea. Someone's in love with you. Ah, oh, some of you guys already know because you got the ring, you got the kids. But it's nice to be rem reminded, you know, that you're you're loved, right? You're deeply loved, but you're deeply wanted. Okay. Um, and those of you who are at distance, like, there's a longing here. Like, I long for you. I miss you so much. So when I see you, I want to see everything all the time. <laughs> and there's definitely love here. Now, for some of you with the office thing or the I see you at the coffee shop thing or I come in every Saturday to buy supplies I don't really need from the store thing. Like, they definitely have hardcore crush, crush issues. Not issues, but hardcore crush feelings issues. What the fuck? Okay, let's get some tarot here. Tell me more about my group three. What's the tea? I feel like some of you have someone who kind of like, they try to keep their cool but they have a really hard time thinking about you, like around you, not about you, around you. They lose their concentration, like their mind kind of, like I'm doing right now. They kind of stammer, stammer, <laughs> see? <laughs> they kind of like can't think. Uh, and they don't like it. They don't like how nervous you make them because they're not a nervous person. Um, so it's kind of unnerving. We have two cards here. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the Two of Coins. Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Two of Coins. All right. Tell me more about this energy. I'll leave this other one over here. Um, I see you. I'm getting I see you. And also like I got you. I got you. Um, it feels like this person's like got you in their, if they're missing you, like they got their eyes on you. Like they are focused on you, on coming towards you, on bridging the distance in some way. So they may be coming to see you. Um, I feel like if you guys are like together um, and it's just been really busy, I feel like they're trying to find some way to bring in some balance so they can find some time to spend with you because they miss you so much. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, um, but it feels like they're having a hard time um, getting it together, like finding finding the um, the energy to make it happen. We have oh, I hope you didn't see that um, the Six of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, but you can't see the card because it's got a lot of nudity in it. <laughs> so, um, but they feel victorious, like they feel like it's going to work out, right? Now, if you are being admired by somebody from afar, I feel like they don't know how they're going to come forward, but they feel like they need to, but they don't know how. They feel like it would be really like a good thing, but they don't. Like if you're in an office environment or a certain kind of work environment, they don't feel like they want anyone to know, but they don't know if you would be down for that. Okay, some cards flipped on me, so let me take a look over here. Um, we have the Queen of Swords. I can't show you that card. There's a lot of booty on that one. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the World, okay. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse, okay. So I feel like for some of you, um, if you're at distance with somebody, I feel like they're trying to like travel to you or they're trying to figure out um, how to bridge 
the distance in some kind of way. It could be they're trying to trap, like if you live with this person or you see them often, they may be trying to plan like a getaway or something like that. For others, they're trying to figure out how to bridge the gap, how to travel to you or you to them. Um, I want to make sure you couldn't, I moved the cards around. I didn't know if you guys could see them or not. Um, and I feel like the queen of coins is on the bottom of the deck. Um, whew, I feel like this person at a distance is confusing. Okay. I feel like they definitely have a crush. I feel like they definitely feel very much like they want to come towards you. There's definitely a drive towards you, but it's like, if we can't keep it on the low, then this is a problem, but you're a problem because you're distracting me. And I don't know what to do about that. I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how to handle myself because I want to see it all. So this person may be they may start, if they haven't started, they may start like actively really flirting with you, uh, trying to feel you out, like what, how you feel about them. If you still feel, if you feel the connection kind of thing. Um, I do think like if this is your partner, if they haven't started being more like flirty and hands-on and trying to grab you, like, you know, in the middle of the kitchen while you're feeding the kids and stuff, you may see that more because I feel like this person is feeling very amorous. Okay. Um, and it may come up in conversation more and more. Um, they haven't quite figured out how to get y'all to have the alone time. There's something about this that hasn't quite all fit, fit together exactly. The steps to you guys being together in this romantic kind of spicy way. Um, but this person thinks it will. They think it's all going to, to work out fine. They're just not sure how for some of you there may be a health issue here that hasn't quite worked out yet and this other person just thinks it's going to it's just all going to work out okay because um there's this energy here of like true love this person has true love uh not saying you do but i feel this energy of true love i feel someone who cares. Now, if this is somebody from a distance, I'm feeling crush energy. I'm feeling someone who's smitten with the possibility of more. Okay. If you're in a relationship, I feel true love energy here. I feel someone who truly feels that they are in love with somebody um, and misses them. And it's not just missing the physical, but it's missing the emotional. This is somebody who truly enjoys your company. They enjoy being around you. Um, this is a relationship that's easy. The thing that's hard is finding time. Um, and it feels like this may have been an issue most of your relationship. It always seemed to be there's never enough time. There's never enough money or there's never enough energy here. Let me see. There's a card that wanted to pop and we have the 10 of wands here. And it feels like the obstacles will be overcome. Okay, the obstacles to you guys seeing each other or getting more time are going to be overcome. Tell me more about overcoming this energy. Tell me more about overcoming this energy. Okay, they want me to switch the decks. Okay, switch the decks. This one, this one, no, not that one, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, this one. All right, tell me about this overcoming energy. Tell me about the obstacles overcome. Tell me about this outcome. Tell me about it. Tell me about this outcome, this tea. Tell me this hot tea. Tell me. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, so there's a cup coming. There's a cup. There's a cup coming. Tell me about this cup. Tell me about this cup. We want to know. Okay. We are going to shuffle a few times. One. Two. And three. Okay. Tell me about overcoming the obstacles. Tell me about this outcome. We already have a cup. 
we have the Four of Cups, okay? It's in reverse. And we have the Death card, okay? So, and we have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. She's the most sensual card uh, in the deck. And also, this particular Queen of Cups card reminds me of Elizabeth Taylor. Underneath that one is the Magician. Underneath that one is the Emperor. And then we have the Page of Cups. We have the Chariot, you guys. I mean, let's not ignore this, okay? We have the Hierophant. I mean, what? How are all these cards just there? They're all just there. We have the Hierophant. We have the Queen of Wands. We could keep going, but we won't. Okay. So we have all these beautiful cards here telling me that there's a lot of victory. Okay, the chariot is often about victory. But first, we have this cup, okay? This cup. Um, I got to tell you, we have the four of cups here. Um, and the four of cups upright, you know, it's about, you know, paying kind of attention to these other three of cups that are full of, like, you know, regret, sorrow, distractions, you know, sadness, things like that. And this other cup, this other hand of the divine kind of comes down. And sometimes it's like you don't see something coming kind of thing. Um, what I feel here is almost like a denial of a cup. And it's not a no. It's just like, I feel like it's, a, it's this cup that shows up that not only did you do you not see coming, it's shocking. It causes a complete transformation. Okay. So I feel like this is a, a wish fulfillment that comes in and is just, it's very transformational. And it's shocking because it's not just a, It's something that scares you a little bit. It's something that knocks you off kilter. It's, it's not just a cup that you don't see coming. It's a cup that you're a little bit in denial of. And it could be the depth of emotion here. It could be that, you know, we're moving, we're, we're moving, we're going, we're, we're changing locations. Uh, there's something about... Um, it's victorious, but it's a journey, okay? It's a journey for the Queen of Wands here, this Queen of Wands energy. It's a journey for the Queen of Wands. And I feel like she's journeying into the Queen of Cups energy uh, as she overcomes her, her obstacles with the Ten of Wands here. Um, and perhaps it has been the awareness that, you know, this is your person. Uh, this is your person and there's some kind of cup that shows up that makes this more official or makes you more aware of this, some kind of movement, some kind of, of switch up within the relationship. Um, that causes a depth here. There's some kind of depth that happens if you're in like a long-term relationship. This is some kind of emotional cup. Um, also could be an outside job offer that causes a move that kind of levels everything up where you guys have time for each other. Um, and it could be if you're long distance, somebody moves, somebody changes jobs. There's some kind of movement with money. Somebody's job transforms. Uh, for some of you, there may be a long-term commitment here that happens, but we have the feminine energy moving more into her, her receptive energy with the Queen of Cups is what I'm hearing. Um, and we have the Emperor here as a masculine energy. And um, we have the Page of Cups here. And I feel like this is this is like represents the, the cup of longing that the emperor has. And the ace of cup is, cups is like the cup that's offered. That's how, how, how I'm feeling this. I'm reading it intuitively at this point. So um, I feel like this, the T is for you guys, group three, this 
is a major change in your life that is brewing. It's brewing for you. There's some kind of shift within this relationship. If you have made it this far, then this is definitely for you, okay? Um, if you're in a relationship, there's some kind of major shift, okay? Um, and for some of you, there may be, you know, there, there may be more family involved. There may be, uh, what I mean by that is there may be like, you know, having, you might start talking about having children um, or having f even fur babies. You might start talking about growing a business. Um, for others, this is just you guys being able to bridge the distance in a more permanent way. Um, for some of you, like this is you like getting engaged it, it, or married. Uh, it just really depends. It could be that you actually are able to say, I love you or you're my person. Um, there is intense attraction here, okay, uh, very intense, and it feels like for some of you, it's difficult to admit that you truly, like, this is your person, because it's unnerving, it's scary, uh, because you have so much baggage in past relationships, um, and the thing is, is that if you've been in a relationship with this person for a while, they kind of know that. They kind of know you have baggage. Um, and I feel like um, what you need to understand is they're okay with that. That's why they are still with you, okay? Um, they, they see deeper. Like, this is someone who sees beyond what's on the outside, although they really do like the outside, y'all. They're really down with that. Uh, but they see deeper into, like, your heart. Um, they see who they feel is a real you, the authentic you, okay? Um, whether that is or not is really depends on your relationship, but they feel like they really know you. Um, and they this is someone who enjoys being around you. And, you know, there are relationships where people are – are with somebody, somebody who does not enjoy being around them. They don't enjoy the energy. They don't enjoy being around them. And you can tell when you see them out in public or you go to dinner with them or you hang out with them, they don't like each other. They don't fucking like each other. And they're, they're not, it's not pleasant to be around a couple like that. You guys, I feel like are easy to be around because you like each other. You you like each other as people and you love each other and you're pleasant to know. I feel like you bring out each other's really good parts of your character, your personality. Um, I feel like you guys could have fun all by yourself for weeks and be fine. You could be totally isolated like we did before and you'd be fine. Uh, you would always find things to talk about. You'd find things to joke about. And when you needed alone time, you would just go your separate ways and be fine. And then you meet back up in the living room. And it's just a natural flow. You guys have a natural flow together. And it's rare. And I think you both know that. Um, and I feel like there is just a beautiful leveling up, um, a transformation of a relationship. And for some of you, it's a deep awareness that this is your person, um, which can be very difficult. And, you know, denial is, is more than a river in Egypt, as I say, you know, um, and I think this Ace of Cups kind of like, it's almost like you need this Ace of Cups to come in to really rock your world kind of thing to show you that your your relationship is victorious. Holy Mercury retrograde, Batman. <laughs> you guys, I lost power. I lost power for like, I don't know, like two or three hours. I had to leave and go someplace else because my house got hot. So, hey, hello. So, we were pretty much done. So, <laughs> woo, yeah, so 
Thank you for joining me. I hope this reading resonated for you. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. Be sure to check out that join button uh, below. I would love to have you as uh, one of my members. My memberships are coming soon. So, And if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to see those thumbs up. And they let me know what videos you like and what videos you'd like to see more of. So, and with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>